China explosions. Chemical specialists sent to Tianjin China has sent a team of military chemical experts to the northern city of Tianjin. After explosions left at least 50 dead, state media report. The blasts, late on Wednesday night, ripped through an industrial port area, destroying buildings, shipping containers and thousands of new cars. It is not known what caused the blasts, nor whether chemicals have leaked. More than 3,500 residents are spending the night in temporary shelters. Hundreds are injured, 71 critically. State news agencies in Pua reports that rescue workers are racing against the clock to save the injured and contain fires 24 hours after the massive blasts at a warehouse in the Binhainu area. Many of the wounded had glass or shrapnel cuts, skull injuries or fractures, Wang CIG of Tetan Hospital said. More than 200 experts in chemical materials from the Chinese army have arrived in Tianjin. Their first task was to test the air for toxic gases, Xinhua said. Rescue teams were ordered to wear protective clothing, it added. The warehouse that exploded is owned by a company called Ruhati Logistics, which handles toxic chemicals including sodium cyanide and toluene disocyanate, according to reports. The People's Daily, the official newspaper of the Chinese Communist Party, reports that rescuers are trying to remove all the 700 tons of sodium cyanide stored at the site. Hydrogen peroxide had been prepared to detoxify the chemical. The paper says. The Tianjin Port Group company said dozens of its employees were unaccounted for, according to Xinhua. Firefighters were already at the scene when the explosions took place. They had been called to reports of a container fire, state media said. At least 17 firefighters are among the dead. The two successive explosions, at 23.30 local time on Wednesday 15.30 GMT caused a fireball visible from space and a blast wine that broke windows several kilometers away. A large area of the port was devastated. Shipping containers were left buckled, bent and toppled on top of each other like toy bricks. Row upon row of new cars were reduced to blackened husks. Almost 10,000 vehicles were ruined, according to Chinese media, with Hanos and Volkswagen the worst affected.